Hey, what's happening? I'm just putting on some sunscreen ready to go because it is our sunniest time of the year and is also the time of year we can get a sunburn really quickly. I'm 13 News Meteorologist Matt Standridge. I've actually got this cool stuff. It's called mineral sunscreen. It's what dermatologists are saying these days to go ahead and try because it's supposed to be better for the environment, especially if you're going to the beach, going into the ocean. Uh, this sunscreen, the mineral sunscreen or the reef safe sunscreen is a sunscreen that they ask you to use so that it keeps the animals protected, but then also keeps your skin protected too because we've got sunburns that are on the loose. Ah, my goodness, those sunburns hurt, don't they? But there are ways that we can try to protect ourselves. And one way, of course, is sunscreen. You can also put a hat on, that will help too. But what's crazy is about the sun angle, how high the sun is in the sky changes throughout the year. It's the reason why we have sunburns, but it's also the biggest reason we have weather changes. When the sun is lower in the sky, let's say in January and December and February, that's when it's our coldest time of the year. That's when we're getting snow. But when the sun is higher in the sky, it is more intense because it's beaten down on you from just the top of the sky. That happens in May, June, July and August and all throughout the summer months. And that's when we have to really watch out for those sunburns. So we want to take a moment and just talk about, you know, what is this UV index? Because we talk about it in these forecasts. Well, there's a scale goes from one goes to 11. And now they've even put some bigger numbers than 11. But really 11 is kind of the cap there. But you can see a 12 or 13. That's just super, super extreme for meteorologists. And that's what I am. I'm a forecaster, weather forecaster. When we're taking a look at UV index, this is our main concentration. How many clouds are out there? Because if you know, clouds block the sun. The more clouds there are, kind of protects you a little bit. Now, you can still get sunburned on a cloudy day if you're out there for a lot longer. But the clouds do help. And we go into the summer with our sunniest time of the year. You know, Indiana is one of the cloudiest states in the whole country during the winter time. Ugh, it's gray. But in the summer, we flip flop things around and we have those percentages on how many times you have mostly cloudy or just completely cloudy days. And notice all the way through the summer, Less than half, here's 50%. So less than half of our days are cloudy. That means more than half our days are really sunny. And because of that, the UV index is at its highest and that's where we have the highest sun bagel. So when we're looking at the UV index, which leads to our sunburns, and I'll show you how quickly you can get a sunburn with these numbers, but May, June, July, and August, those are really the big months you have to watch out for. It's pool season. We want to be out enjoying the sun. And you can, you just got to watch out for the sun because it can be a little bit intense. You don't want a sunburn, or otherwise you're getting your parents to get the aloe out, put it on. Oh, that's a lifesaver, but hopefully you don't have to deal with that in the first place. So we talked about those numbers, how they go from 1 to 11. But I'll be honest, sometimes I don't really know what the exact number is all the time, or it's just kind of confusing. So this is a really cool way to look at the numbers with how quickly you can get a sunburn. So let's say for a 9. We say, hey, Indiana's got a UV index of nine for today. That means you could get a sunburn in 20 minutes. That's pretty fast. 10, it's even faster. Only 15 minutes, that's what it takes to get a sunburn. When you're at 11 or higher, it means you can only, in just in 10 minutes, you can get a sunburn. So it's really, really quick. And that's especially in the middle of the day. That's kind of what we're talking about. It's a little bit uh, less strong, a little bit weaker once you get in the morning and the late evening. But right there in smack dab in the middle of the day, let's say noon, one, two o'clock, that's when you have to watch. So I was just putting on some sunscreen because it can protect my skin from a sunburn. Now you've looked at these bottles and your parents have some bottles too, and they'll say 15 or 30 or, or 50 or maybe 1000. I don't know how I had to go, but play with me. The number tells you roughly how much protection you're getting. So when you have the SPF 15 on the sunscreen bottle. That means your skin's protected about 93% of uh, the wear. 97% protection with SPF 30. And then really the difference doesn't change very much. You can get SPF 1000, but it's not really that much more effective than a 30. So EPA, it's a government organization. They say at least do 15, but a lot of dermatologists these days are saying, hey, at least do SPF 30. So you got 97% protection. That should be good as long as you keep reapplying it, especially when you get in the water a bunch. And I love getting in the water. I don't like just sitting out in the sun all day. I want to get cooled off and play in the pool. When you do that, when you dry off, make sure you put a, a little bit more sunscreen on. But you got to watch in the middle of the summer. That's when we have our sun angles really, really high. Oh, the sun can feel so good. Got to watch out, though, because it can lead to a sunburn.